Today is October 5th, 2018, and yet another shooting has taken place in Windsor, Ontario. This marks the eighth shooting of 2018. Three of them shootings have been fatal. The most recent man who has been shot is in his early 20s and it remains in critical condition. Lucky for him, Corporal James Brandon Liddy, a Canadian soldier who was a bystander, was having a few drinks with his friends downtown at the time and was not far away from where the shooting took place. Corporal Liddy was close enough to where the incident happened and was able to instinctively jump into action and assist the shooting victim. Corporal Liddy says within minutes of his arriving downtown, he heard a noise which sounded like gunshots, which other pedestrians mistook for firecrackers. Liddy, being a soldier and having knowledge with identifying the difference between gunshots and firecrackers, knew right away that these, in fact, were not firecrackers and took cover immediately. While he was taking cover, Corporal Liddy witnessed the shooting victim drop to his knees and fall to the ground. That is when Liddy's training instincts kicked in once again. He immediately approached the shooting victim, trying to save his life. Liddy identified two gunshot wounds, one of the arm and one of the torso. That's when Liddy removed his belt from his pants and tied it around the victim's arm to cut off the blood supply. Liddy turned to another bystander who was at the scene and told him to remove his shirt. Liddy used it to apply pressure to the victim's gunshot wound. Liddy and the other bystander continued to work on the victim until paramedics arrived and transported him to hospital. Greg Iyer from Windsor, Ontario comments, Corporal Liddy is a true hero, a Canadian we can really be proud of. Liddy says he has spent time downtown in the Windsor area, and other than the occasional fist fight, there hasn't been much stabbings and shootings. Jen L., a resident from Windsor, was saying she no longer wants to live in Windsor with the fear it's becoming a mini Detroit, and many of people agree with her. The mayor has a plan in place. With the increased crime in the city, he announced a new initiative called the Zero Tolerance for Crime Initiative. This is to help reducing the amount of crime-related incidents in the city that has been happening more often in 2018. One of the things is the initiative he plans on doing is mandating the use of metal detectors in entertainment lounges. Another thing he plans on doing is putting more officers downtown to help with keeping the city safe. Shooting, stabbings, and crime are increasing every month in Windsor's downtown core, so let's hope that Mayor Dilkin's plan will be effective and Windsor's residents can feel safe again when they want to go to the city to let loose and have a good time.